What's going on, Excel Fanatics? Vertex is here. Today, I am going to show you guys how to use text to columns. Um, so what that means is, if you can kind of see what I have here in column B, um, these look like they should be separated in separate columns, right? So that way you can actually, you know, a little bit cleaner, and you can actually work with it a little bit better. Um, so how do you do that, right? I guess one way you could actually, in this scenario, you probably could just start typing and actually use Control E. And this will auto fill, this flash fill, which is a really good one here. Um, that's a really interesting shortcut. Um, that's one way to do it. Or if you want it to, so, but the thing is it kind of copies here, right? So you still have, you're still left with this uh, cell. So how do you just split it? So if you go, you have it selected here. And if you go all the way up to data and by the data tools here, you actually can go to text to columns. So there's two options here. One's called delimited and one's called fixed width. Um, so we're going to do fixed width and what that means is, oh, I made a mistake. So what I actually have to do, I'm going to do control A because I have to make sure this is all highlighted, all the stuff that I want to work with. So I did control A and now I'm going to go back to text the columns. Now looking at fixed width. Now that's better. You can see the data preview down here, all the stuff. It was only, you know, doing the one row. Um, so right here this ruler looking thing here actually because with the the fixed width I actually it just makes a straight line and from there I'm just telling it where I want it to cut into a new column so it doesn't cut into the numbers and it doesn't cut into any of the names right so let's go ahead and let's just hit finish so what that did right so now you can see column B now just has numbers and column C has all the names it does have the decimals in here though so what do we do to get rid of that? So in this case, highlight all the cells, right? So what I just did was I just clicked here, held shift, and then I clicked up to C2. This is a shortcut for find where you do control F and you see this replace box. This new box opened up, but you see this replace tab, I should say, right here next to find. Now it says find what and replace with what. So find what? We want to find the decimal points, right? All these decimal points here and replace we don't want to replace it with anything. So when we leave this blank right here, that means that we just want it to delete. So what we have to do right now, is just find the decimals and then just delete them. So we do replace all and they're all gone. So that's a fun, those are a couple fun little tricks here as far as that goes. Um, so that's fixed width. Moving on to the limited here though, so you can see already right off the bat, like so even though there might be a clean cut down here, now, now we have title headers here, but the the fixed width won't work here when you're looking at it, right? So what do we do? Same steps. So we do control A, go to data, text the columns, click text the columns, and then go to delimited. Right? So fixed width and delimited. This time it's delimited. So what does that mean, right? So now what you can actually see, if you look close enough, you actually see that there's decimal points, right? That they look like they make up these different columns. So that's like a common factor here. And it might be different in other scenarios whenever you pull data from a system somewhere. It could be it could be just semicolon, comma, it could just be spaced. Find that common factor in that situation and then you can use this. So in this case, the common factor is actually the decimal point, right? So that's not really a predetermined one here right so let's just use other and just press dot uh, decimal excuse me and you see the lines here fill in right so let's hit finish and voila that opens up for you so all we have you have all the different columns here for you actually if I'm just do control a twice and I'm gonna just double click in between B and C and that auto formats for me um, just because the, I know these are dates because of the label, I'm going to just change it because it just bothers me if I don't. So now the date format's all set. Salary, let's just scrub that. Let's highlight that whole thing. We can either hit the dollar sign or we can do control shift four. Voila. That's a really great trick. Um, so yeah, so, but that's a pretty much it when it comes to text to columns is just separating out, um, data that's filling in one cell into a bunch of different cells. So it's easier to look at and you can work with it now. Uh, well, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and subscribe for me uh, or get us a like to something. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.